Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to Attitudes with Andy. I don't know why I just howdy, but anyway, welcome to the place where we get to learn and grow together from amazing people on how we can be our best selves. But as always, today is a mini episode, therefore it's solo. So today I'm talking about a topic that is close to my heart and I have had a lot of friends and me, including me, go through this and it's been an honor to sometimes help people if they reach out and I wanted to record an episode to help you guys. So what we're talking about today is how to get out of a mini rut. Now if you've listened to an episode I did way back when called How to Get Out of a Rut. Um, that was a massive rut. That was me like changing everything in my life, feeling extremely low. That was like real big stuff. So if you want to go listen back to that, that has gotten a lot of <laughs> listens and I think you guys really enjoyed it. It's by far probably one of my most vulnerable episodes I've ever done. Anyway, this episode is for mini ruts. And what I mean by mini ruts is, you know, when you're just in a bit of like a lull, a funk, For a few weeks, you've kind of barely gone to the gym. For a few weeks, you haven't really done a proper shop up. You haven't really focused on your nutrition. You haven't really gone out of your way to, um, you like build on your beautiful relationships. You haven't really been working that hard. You're just kind of coasting. You feel a bit icky. You haven't really been sleeping. You've been scrolling a little bit too much. And now it's all starting to hit and you're feeling like you're on the decline. You're not motivated to do anything and you're feeling pretty shit. Yeah. So that's the mini rut I'm talking about. So let's, let's learn how to get out of that. First of all, I just want to send you a massive hug, okay? I'm sending you so much love into your ears because that can be really hard, okay? And just even you clicking on this podcast is really brave because when you're in that rut, you like you want to be out of it, but at the same time, you don't feel like doing anything. And that's what's so shitty about it. It's like this negative feedback loop where it's like you don't feel like doing anything so you don't do it and then because you don't do it you feel shit about yourself and guilty so then you don't do it and it just keeps going so thank you for clicking on something that you know is going to benefit you um, even if you don't feel like being here and even if you don't feel like taking action I'm here with you so first of all What I have found is when I'm in these ruts, I always ask myself, how did I get here? Because it's important to know how we went from slaying, doing our habits, being a king or a queen, and then suddenly we're we're not in that position. So I always ask myself what happened. And the thing, the common factor when I have been in these many many ruts is I stopped doing the things and I let them slip very very slowly so slowly you know oh I'm a little bit tired so I just I'll just skip this session oh I've had a hard day so I'll just order takeout oh I don't I don't really feel like socializing so I'll just not go to that event okay I found that they're just lots of little things where I just take the easy route and I just decide to not do the thing. And then that compounded over all the other aspects of your life, suddenly you've let all your strong pillars slip. And that's why you're suddenly like, fuck, how did I get here? You know? So when I'm in those mini ruts, uh, the first thing I do is I simplify. Okay, instead of being like, oh my God, I need to get back to my habits. I need to wake up at 5 a.m. I need to exercise for an hour. I need to eat this and that. I simplify things because when you're in these low moments, you need to treat yourself like a child. Okay, and you need to simplify things. So I always go, okay, Andy, I know you're not feeling great. All right, and that's all right. We're not going to be here forever. So let's do stuff to get us out. And I go, all right, this week, all I want you to do is when the alarm clock goes off, we just get, get up straight out of bed. 
and get on with our day. Or it might be, okay, I'm just going to focus on exercising every single day this week. And then you have that win and then you can be like, okay, now I'm going to focus on getting up just half an hour earlier this week, every single week, whilst also keeping your exercise going, okay? And now what that's doing is that's positively reinforcing your activities so that you keep doing them, okay? And progress equals happiness. And the reason progress equals happiness is because it feels very satisfying. And so what we want to do is we want to see progress and we want to feel as though we're making progress. And whilst you might not be able to see progress, you can feel progress. You can feel, oh, I'm getting really consistent in the gym. I'm I'm now back on track with eating really well and all of that. And so what I want you guys to do is take out a piece of paper and draw 14 squares, okay? Now this is going to be like a little two-week pick-me-up, slay, week, day. And what you can write on it, something positive, um, whatever you want, you know, could be like, what what would I write on mine? Andy's comeback. <laughs> no, that's so lame. Um, <laughs> woo. Oh, no, I'd probably write something lamer like Andy's slay weeks. <laughs> anyway, write something good on there. And what I want you to do is each day that you do the activity, cross it off, okay? And now you can visually see that you've done X amount of days. And that feels quite satisfying for the soul. So, basically what we want to do is we want to start off small and we want to get back to where we were and we want to ask ourselves what were the things and the habits and the people and the places I was seeing and going and doing when I was at my happiest and then when I was at my most productive okay and we want to build back to being there and we want to stay there and the road to getting back on track is literally ignoring everything you're feeling I'm so sorry to say it and I don't mean like ignore your sadness and all of that but you know when you're like I don't feel like doing this I don't feel like doing that what I realize is like that is just a worse voice to listen to it really is stop listening to that voice that says I don't feel like doing this because we don't feel like doing a lot of things well I personally don't feel like doing a lot of things and then when I'm doing it I'm like okay I'm glad I'm here so just stop listening to that stop letting your voice intersect that when your alarm gets off just goes off just get up straight away because then you don't have time to think of I don't feel like doing this okay Straight away, just make your bed before your brain starts to be like, oh, I can't be bothered. Straight away, put on your active wear and just go out the door before your brain goes, oh, I'm too tired. Let's move this back, okay? The reason you're in this rut is because you're listening to the weak version of you. If you listen to the episode I did with Cato, he spoke about this and it's so true. I'd never thought about it like this. And he said, in every situation, there's a strong version of you and there's a weak version of you, Okay. The strong version of you is like, yeah, let's get it. Let's go exercise. The weak version of you is like, I'm really tired. I'm just going to chill, just going to coast, okay? And so we always have a choice in the moment and I 100%, I, I respect it so hard that you don't feel like doing this. But what I need you to do for the next two weeks is ignore those impulses of not doing it and just do the action. We are here because you haven't been doing the action truly if you were doing all of the things I don't think you would be here and we and I I think you know that's true okay and it's fine we all slip up we all get in these holes but to get back to where you were you're going to have to take the action so that is how to get out of a mini rut that is why you're in a mini rut it is so simple but it is hard okay The solution is simple, but is it easy? No. But are you capable of doing it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So get back on that train because you deserve to feel good. You do. You really do. And I think these acts of discipline is 100% an act of self-love. Okay? And self-love can get so mixed up with like, oh, I've had a hard day, so I might just skip the gym and have a bubble bath instead. And then you you can convince yourself like, 
oh, I'm just looking after me. I'm listening to what I need. It's like, no, you just made up a BS excuse and I do it all the time, okay, all the time. So you just have to ignore that voice and go, all right, no, an act of self-love is going to do that workout that I said I was going to work out because there's nothing better than feeling proud and trusting yourself in what you say you're going to do. So that is everything for this episode. I am sending you so much love, and so much hugs, and you can 100% get out of this. But just remember, no one's coming to save you. I'm here to help you and there are so many people here to help you and support you. But at the end of the day, you're the only person who can get you out of this. I can't do the actions for you. I can only encourage you to do them. So go do them, go thrive, and we can all thrive together. So if you want to reach out to me, please let me know um, if this had an impact on you and if there's anything I can do to help. My Instagram is attitudes with Andy. Feel free to leave a review as that really helps. Plus plus follow or subscribe and share this around to someone who you think might need this all right guys i'll see you guys next week for another episode okay bye